just to remind this, this is about the manuscript also that was simultaneously published in Cancer Discovery. So this was a large multi-institutional effort that was directed in understanding clinical genomic determinants of response to KRAS G12C inhibitors in advanced non-small cell lung cancer. So it's been well established that uh, genomic characteristics, especially key tumor suppressor genes can impact clinical outcomes as well as tumor biology for non-small cell lung cancers that harbor a KRAS G12C C mutation. So we set out to further investigate the role of these key genomic variables in response to the now recently approved KRAS G12C inhibitors. To be able to assess these clinical genomic characteristics, we established a large collaboration between 21 academic institutions across North America and Europe, totaling 424 patients that had advanced KRAS G12C mutant non-small cell lung cancer and recidivative treatment with sotorasib or atagrasib. So the clinical characteristics of this cohort are what you would expect for a KRS G12C mutant population in lung cancer. Median age was 68 years of age. Uh, patients had good performance status. All of them had metastatic disease prior to starting therapy. And most of them had a PS of zero to one. Uh, all of them received atagrasib and sotorasib monotherapy, predominantly sotorasib, 83%, 17% atagrasib. Well, we observed that in the overall cohort, the progression-free survival was 5.2 months. Objective response rate was 35%, okay? so we, which, is what you, which is results that are similar to the key pivotal registrational efforts from the CRYSTAL-1 and the code break trials. Uh, to delve into the genomic determinants of response, we segregated patients into two different clinical outcome populations. So patients with early disease progression, defined as PFS of less than three months, and uh, patients with durable clinical benefit def uh, defined as a PFS of greater than six months. Because all these patients had genomic profiling performed prior to start a KRAS G12C inhibitor therapy, we included both patients that had genomic profiling in the form of a liquid biopsy uh, or tumor tissue profiling. Well, we observed that patients that with early progression were enriched in key tumor suppressor gene commutations, such as KEEP1, SMARK-A4, and CDKN2A, all of which were associated with poor uh, progression-free survival and overall survival compared to their wild-type counterparts, and they were found to be indetermin independent determinants of poor clinical outcomes, even when you adjust it for clinical characteristics that are associated with poor prognosis, such as brain metastasis, poor performance status, uh, as well as a number of prior lines of therapy. We also embarked on an exploratory analysis looking at less frequent uh, genomic variables, uh, those that occurred in at least three patients at a minimum, okay, and using a similar approach, segregating them based on their clinical outcomes. And we also observed intriguing findings that patients that harbor commutations in genes that are part of the pi 3 kinase uh, mTOR pathway, such as TSC1, TSC2, and P10, also seem to be enriched in patients with early progression. In addition, RAS alterations such as amplifications or additional KRAS mutations other than G12C were also enriched uh, in patients with early progression. In addition, we saw a signal for an association between uh, commutations in well-established DDR genes as well as ATRX commutations being associated with uh, durable clinical benefit. But of course, that these analyses were limited by small sample size and they do require further preclinical and clinical validation. So the key finding is that when we focus on these three key commutations that we identified, KEEP1, SMARK, A4, and CDKN2A, which we call the KSC genes, when grouped together, these three genes accounted for about a third of our overall study population. And together, they corresponded to 49.3% of all patients with primary resistance, so early disease progression, uh, to KRS G12C inhibitors, sotorasib and atagrasib, and that ultimately lead to a significant difference in progression-free survival and overall survival compared to the KSC wild type population. So in summary, these results show us that genomic variables can determine uh, different clinical outcomes to KRAS G12C inhibitors. 
uh, and they can be used to better stratify patients that are candidates and are more likely to benefit from a G12C inhibitor monotherapy, as well as higher, uh, higher risk groups that are enriched for early progression uh, that will require a different treatment paradigm, such as a novel combination strategy with a KRAS G12C inhibitor, as well as potentially novel immunotherapy uh, combinations. So this work creates a framework on which to base uh, clinical decision making, as well as to support further drug discovery and drug development in this space.